this is Kevin from Hidden Hill Skills, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I made these storage brackets for our foam rollers and yoga mats, and this one for my barbell. Check it out. As you guys know, my wife and I are converting our mudroom into a home gym. In the last video, I made this exercise bench, which I use all the time and I love it. If you want to know how I made it, check out the video link in the description. In today's video, I'm going to work on a storage project. On this wall, I want to put some shelf brackets. The idea is I'm going to make something triangular shaped with a little bit of a half moon cutout into it. Something that's custom for our foam rollers. And then that way, we can stack our foam rollers up on the wall as opposed to having them lay on the ground. So the first thing that I'm going to show you in this video is the storage brackets for the foam rollers and the yoga mats. Off camera, I went ahead and I cut four pieces of half inch plywood into six inch by six and a half inch dimensions. And on one of them, I drew a diagonal line so that I'll make a cut later, turning these into two triangles basically. And on each triangle, I drew a half moon shape, which will be the recess where my foam roller or my exercise mat will rest on the shelf without falling off. The next step is to take some double-sided tape and attach a couple pieces of plywood together so that I can run it through the bandsaw uh, just once or twice as opposed to four times. By the way, I have a link in the description below if you're interested in downloading these plants. They're completely free, but you can donate if you want to support the channel. All right, we've got our basic shape cut out for our shelves, and that last maneuver, I'm not going to recommend you guys do that. I'm very confident with my table saw. I'm very sure of where my hands are. Please do not do anything that is unsafe in your shop. You make your own decisions for yourself. Uh, I decided to go ahead and do it that way because I don't have a tapering jig. I will make one in the future, um, but yeah, I just, I knew I could do this safely. Um, so the profiles for these shelves are cut out now. If I had a spindle sander, I would take away a little bit of material from here um, just because I notice that as my foam roller sits in there, it touches the edges before it touches the bottom. Um, but I don't have a spindle sander. I do have a belt sander. I, I think I'll use the edge of my belt sander to take a little bit of material off on the sides there. I'll do a few touch-ups on this. I might do a round over on each of these just to make the edges real soft, uh, do some sanding, and then I'll need to make the back pieces, which is just gonna be about a five inch piece, three inches wide, uh, so that I can screw it to the wall. And then these are pretty much done. guys, I'm done with my shelf brackets. They look great. The next step for me is to paint them, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. And I'm gonna mount them up in our exercise room with some drywall screws. The next project I have going on is to make a holder or a little bracket for my barbell using these four pieces of off-cut redwood. Uh, they're two by sixes, and so I think that'll be good. I can make a three inch circular hole right here, and my barbell can fit into that. Uh, and then the next piece under it, I'm gonna glue two together. Next piece under it will have a one and a half inch hole um, so that the bar of the barbell can fit through that one. And then I'll use my jigsaw and I'll cut two channels so I can take it in and out. The bottom two pieces are gonna be on the floor with a hole in it for the barbell to fit in.
well actually two projects. I'm super happy with how both of them came out. I decided to paint these guys blue in order to have them match the bottom half of this room. I think it makes it fit real nicely in here. I like how both of these projects take some oddly shaped items that were laying on the ground and instead I can store them up on the wall out of the way and each one has its own spot. If you liked this video, please hit the like button, share this video with a friend, hit subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next video.